In this video, we'll take a look at blood vessels. There are three major types of blood vessels, arteries, capillaries, and veins. Arteries are made up of three layers, an inner layer, known as the endothelial layer, the middle layer, which is elastic and muscular. It allows expansion with each heartbeat as high volume of blood moves through and the third layer, the outer layer, which is inelastic and limits stretching so that the blood vessel doesn't overstretch. All arteries carry blood away from the heart. All branch from the aorta except for the pulmonary artery. Arteries can accommodate great change in volume. This is necessary to accommodate the high pressure generated by the heart's ventricles. Arteries branch into smaller arteries called arterioles. They're less elastic and somewhat contractile. Arterioles provide a vital function in that they are involved in blood pressure control. The lumen, or inside of the blood vessel, can narrow or expand due to stimulation of muscles surrounding them by the nervous system. This homeostatic mechanism helps regulate blood pressure and will be covered later. Capillaries are microscopic passages hollowed out in tissue. Their walls are composed of one layer of endothelial tissue. They branch to form a dense network throughout our bodies. Capillaries are the location of exchange of materials between blood and tissues. They are where the gas and nutrient exchange takes place via diffusion. A capillary bed forms a maze of capillary vessels that lies between an arteriole and a venule. When sphincter muscles are relaxed, the capillary bed is open and the blood flows through the capillaries. When sphincter muscles are contracted, blood flows through a shunt. As blood passes through a capillary to the tissues, it gives up its oxygen. Therefore, blood goes from being oxygen rich in the arteriole, shown in the red color, to being oxygen poor in the vein, shown with the blue color. Venules are tributaries to veins. Blood flows out of the capillary beds and into venules. Venules are thinner walled than arterioles. They accommodate blood leaving the capillary bed at much lower pressure than when it entered the capillary bed. Veins are thin walled and less muscular than arteries. Valves ensure one-way flow of blood by preventing backflow. All veins, except for the pulmonary vein, eventually connect with the superior and inferior vena cava, allowing blood to return to the right side of the heart. This image shows the relationship between the major types of blood vessels. Blood is delivered to the capillary beds first by arteries, then by arterioles. At the capillaries, exchange of materials takes place, oxygen diffuses out of the blood into the tissues, and carbon dioxide diffuses in. Nutrients, such as glucose, leave the blood and go to the tissues, the body cells, and wastes return to the blood via diffusion. The blood flows out of the capillary bed into venules and into veins and then returns to the heart.